everyone welcome to the channel so here we are discussing the question brick wall on code forces so the problem states that a brick is a strip of size 1 cross k placed horizontally or vertically where k can be any arbitrary number that is at least 2 a brick wall of size n cross m is such a way to place several bricks inside a rectangle n cross m that all bricks lie either horizontally or vertically in the cells do not cross the border of the rectangle and each cell of n cross m rectangle belongs to exactly one brick. Here n is the height of the cell means the rectangle n cross m and m is the width. Note that there can be bricks with different values of k in the same brick wall. So the wall stability is the difference between the number of horizontal bricks and number of vertical bricks. If you use 0 horizontal bricks and two vertical ones stability will be minus two and not two what is the maximum possible stability of a wall of size n cross m it is guaranteed that under restriction in the same statement at least one n cross m wall exists so we are given input as the number of test cases and n and m we need to print the maximum stability of a wall of size n cross m. Now let's see the test cases. For 2 cross 2, there can be 2 1 cross 2 bricks horizontally placed on top of each other hence the maximum stability is 2 in case of 7 and 8 we can have 4 bricks of 1 cross 2 in 7 rows hence the answer is 28 for 16 9 again if we take 1 cross 2 then it will be we can have max 4 horizontal bricks in 1 row and we have 16 such rows so 4 into 16 which gives us 64 so like this we can calculate the number of bricks now if you look at 3, 5, so in 3 and 5 means in case of 3 cross 5, you have maximum 2 bricks horizontally, so the answer is 6. Same for the last. So the idea is very simple here. What we need to do is just take the half of M where M represents our width. So take the half of the width. The half of the width can be placed horizontally with the brick. And if the half of the width is placed horizontally in each row, just multiply by the number of rows and you will get the answer. So suppose I have 2 comma 2, so my m is 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1 and I will multiply by n that is 2. So 1 into 2 gives me 2. 7, 8, so 4 into 7 that gives me 28. 16, 9, 9 divided by so 9 divided by 2 gives me 4.5 but I will take the 4 value because we can't have more than 4 bricks. We can't have 5 bricks actually. So I will take 4 into account multiplied by 16. So like this we can get an answer. We can also check on the last test case. So it is 10,000. It becomes 5,000. And 5,000 into 10,000 is your answer. 
as you can see here so as you can see i have submitted the same code here and the pretest have passed so hence our logic is correct now let's look at the code to understand it in a more better way so this is our code here explaining it one by one we have taken the number of test cases n and m the dimensions of the word and maximum stability is calculated by m by 2 into n so if we are writing in c plus plus so you can use math dot floor and get the output here we are using the integer division directly in python so i hope you all understand this solution thanks for watching